The member from Lanark, Frontenac, Lennox, and Addington. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's my uh, pleasure to uh, speak on Bill 46 this afternoon and act to authorize the expenditure of certain amounts for the fiscal year. You know, Speaker, after, while I was listening to the member from Ottawa Centre explain an appropriations or supply bill, I can understand and see now why, as he said in his past life, he was a lawyer and not a teacher, and that he's now been reincarnate, reincarnated as a Dalton McGuinty liberal after that explanation. Mr. Speaker, the government house leader, when he introduced this bill for second reading, said this bill was part of the liberal story, and he was proud of that story. Well, let's put that story to test. And I guess what I would say, that story, especially today, in light of the orange scandal, another billion dollars to pile on the heap of previous scandals, the real liberal story is, what's another billion? And maybe that'll be their campaign slogan next time around. What's another billion? Well, you might as well just pile a few more on. So, but here is the, the real story, Mr. Speaker. Every time a bill gets introduced by this Liberal government, it's an expenditure bill. It's a money bill. They're spending money. Surprise, surprise, every time, whether it was the uh, bill for the Southwest Ontario Development Fund, the uh, Seniors Tax Credit, the Education Tax Credit, every bill that they put in is an expenditure bill. And then, of course, this still follows through with the Drummond Report, which, of course, the Drummond Report said, let's hold off here, let's, let's find some. Sorry. Um seems that members are forgetting to acknowledge the chair. It's not so much me, it's the chair. So when you come in and out of this chamber, we would like an acknowledgement of the chair. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. It's always good for people to remember the proper conventions here. Um, Mr. Speaker, the real story about these, all these bills, in light of the Drummond Report, is that this Liberal government keeps spending money. It's just like, you know, when you really look at the story, the story that I see with this Liberal government is that every time they come back with their hand out and spending more money, you know, the, the picture of a, a gambling addict staggering back after rolling the dice once too many times, staggers back to these house, staggers back to the benefactor, promising, promising, promising that they'll not do this again. Just one more handout, just one more bunch of money and I promise I won't throw the, roll the dice anymore. But we know that that is the liberal way. Just spend, spend, spend. And let's look at their track record as they've taken Ontario into have-not status for the first time in our history as a province. Let's take a look at their expenditures and what's happened with the average everyday resident and citizen in Ontario. In their eight years, they've doubled their debt. They've put more than a hundred billion dollars more in debt on the backs of the residents of Ontario. And during that time, they're under their abysmal leadership, the real GDP growth per capita in this province has been 0.84%. Less than 1% real GDP growth in Ontario. $347 more in real dollars is what an individual in Ontario has today as when the Liberals first took power. And for that $347 more, they've got over $100 billion more in debt. We've got a $16 billion deficit. We have over 600,000 people unemployed. We've got a higher unemployment rate than the national average. And of course, we have 
orange that they're so proud of over on the other side. Mr. Speaker, this, this House leader said that he was proud of this story. Proud of this story of abysmal economic performance and an abysmal spending record that has put Ontario in our worst fiscal position ever, ever. in our history. Ever. And just to give you an example of what sort of spending, as the, as the average taxpayer in this province has seen their real per capita growth grow by 0.84% in eight years, the rate of government spending has been over 7% each and every year of the McGuinty government. The rising cost of public servants there's a story in yesterday's uh, paper about how under the McGinty term, a first class constable police officer in this province eight years ago was making 59000 He's now at 84000 That's a lot more than 0.84%. About 30% has been the increase of our cost of public servants and this government is proud of it as a taxpayer has less than a one percent growth in money to pay for their wasteful ridiculous abysmal economic policies I'm glad the government house leader is proud of that story I'm looking forward to the next election campaign when they bring forth that slogan what's another billion What's another e-health? What's another orange? I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Speaker.